My name is Luis Vargas. And my name is Luisa Vargas, and um, I received his kidney. My first symptom was uh, high blood pressure, and after four years, they did some lab work, and they found out that my kidney function was very, very low. The only option was to have a transplant. Luisa hadn't started dialysis yet. Um, she got referred to as she was having symptoms already of having kidney failure, and her nephrologist referred her early on, and she had several people apply. My dad, my mom, and my brother, and then they told me that the best match was my brother. Pretty stressful at the beginning because we had so many questions, uh, but that's where the staff from Las Palmas kind of stepped in and they helped us a lot with the questions and make us feel more confident and um, being supportive and understanding how the process will be um, meeting everyone on the, pro on the program. We always have a recipient and living donor together in the pre-op area so they can see each other before they leave, which is also very emotional. The donor is taken to surgery first, and once the donor surgery is, the donor surgeon is ready to remove the kidney, he does stop at that point so that they can take the recipient in and prep her for surgery. And once the recipient is ready to, to start, then they go ahead and remove the kidney from the donor, and it's taken straight into the recipient's room. Breaking out from anesthesia and being like all confused, and the first thing I asked was, uh, how's my sister? So as soon as they told me she was okay and that everything was successfully um, well done, I mean, I was, it was pretty rewarding. It, was, it gets emotional. I just wanted to see him and, and see that he was doing good. And yeah, he was walking already and he came and gave me a, a hug and, and it was very, it was pretty emotional and, and, and we were happy to see each other. We were still amazed on and how can this be possible and, and that we're doing very well. If I had seven kidneys, I mean, six will be for her. So I will do it again if I, if I can. The recipients don't have the burden of having to travel out of town to get transplanted, which is a financial burden and also lack of family support because of course not all the family is, you know, can travel with them. So at least here in El Paso, they can recover here. They have their family support and the team is close by. If they have an emergency, we, we are always here for them. We have a coordinator on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week to help them. It was amazing since the first day. I mean, it was... All the staff was like excellent. They were, they were great with us. So we felt pretty confident to stay here. As soon as we met um, Isabel, the the coordinator, the nurses, the surgeons, the nephrologists, like all the staff, we just felt like home. So we just didn't even think about even going anywhere else. You feel like they're part of your family. And they're like angels for us. I'm more than grateful for them because I'm here because of him, of course, but because all of them, all of them, they, they they did their part so that we can be here giving our story.